say guys, welcome to a brand new video. This is my last Premier League game week prediction video. We have found out who are the champions of England, Man City. We have found out the top four. I'll go through that in this game week. Oh boy, it is a big, big game for three teams at the bottom. Everton, Leicester and Leeds. Watch this video guys to find out what I think my prediction is going to be for these games and what and who I think is going to get relegated this season, okay? So, so guys, love this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not ready, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Let's get straight in to this video. Before I get started with today's video, guys, these games will be quite quick predicted, okay? Because there's only three games, guys, that matter the most in this game week. So anyway, guys, our first game is Arsenal versus Wolves. That is right, Arsenal, guys, Second place in the league, they have true, true, truly bottled the league, but they've got second place, Champions League football, so fair play to them right there. Overall, a fantastic, fantastic season. Wolves on the other hand, guys, I thought Wolves were relegated at the start of the season, but they have come out now, and they are safe for next season. They are about to lose some of their best players, though. Neves and some other players, so we'll find out what happens to them. But, overall, guys, Wolves are safe, and you know what? Start of the season, I thought they'd get relegated, but they have come out and done better. So, guys, Arsenal's confidence right now, guys, is so, so, so poor. That is why, guys, I've got this game to end as a one all draw. This next game, guys, it's Aston Villa versus Brighton, 7th versus 8th. Brighton, guys, have officially confirmed for Europa League football next season. They drew to Man City at the weekend to get 7th. Place guys, that is right. Brighton have finished seventh place this season with a Europa League football spot. Okay, Aston Villa guys, on the other hand, they're in eighth place, only one point above Spurs. So Villa need to win this game to, to get like Europa Conference League. So overall, guys, fantastic season for Aston Villa. But can Spurs come back this week and get um, a top eight finish? We'll find out what happens, guys. But Villa need to win really. Brighton are so, so, so good this season. They have done so well to Serbi, McAllister. The whole, the whole guys have done so well. But Brighton will be losing a few players next season. McAllister, and uh, I'm not sure who else we're going to be leaving. But they're going to be, be losing their World Cup hero, their World Cup star, Alex McAllister. Brighton will get some money for the Open League next season due to finishing such a high place this season. So, so they will get some money through the FA and FIFA for finishing top 7th place and also getting in the Europa League spot. So, Brighton can now look out and get some more signings for next year. But guys, Aston Villa need to win, like I say, Villa need to win this game to have any chance of Conference League. But, Brighton are on fire right now, so that's why I've got this game, guys, to end as a 2 all draw. Our next game, guys, it is Brentford versus Man City, guys. Brentford have finished in the top 10 finish this season. So overall guys, a fantastic, fantastic season for them. But unfortunately though, next season they will be without Tony for eight months ago. That is right, it's back in January next year, which is probably like midway through the season. So Brentford guys need to sign someone as a striker next season to like take his place until January next year. So Brentford could be in a bit of trouble next season because their top goal scorer is out due to betting charges. But overall, though, guys, this season, fantastic season for them. So fair play to Brentford right there. And uh, Man City, guys, they've won the league. They are literally, guys, right now, the best team in the world. Blue Room Madrid out of the water, and they're in the, in the final of the FA Cup next weekend, and also the final of the Champions League. So, so Man City, guys, can win everything this season. So uh, crazy, man, absolutely crazy. But anyway, guys, this game will only go one way for me, and that is a Man City win. That is why I've got Man City, guys, to beat Brentford, an easy 2-1. Our next game, guys, is shocking Chelsea versus Newcastle. God, that is right. Chelsea lost 4-1 yesterday to Man United, guys, which puts them in 12th place. Such, such a poor season for them right there. They got blown away out of the water, man. They are so poor this season. Like I say to you guys, buying all these top stars, all these top performers, is not always a good thing. But Chelsea need to get some players out of that team next season because apparently Pochettino is going to take charge of Chelsea next season and uh, Pochettino guys will want some players. So Chelsea guys need to start selling players to beat the fair play uh, rules say because uh, apparently they're on the brick of breaking the fair play rules. So see what happens with them. Anyway guys, they against Newcastle who 
true to Leicester nil at the weekend. A fantastic result, by the way, for Leicester right there. I'll get onto that in a moment. But anyway, guys, Newcastle finished third this season and they got a Chubby League football for the first time in 20 goddamn years. So, fair play to Newcastle, guys. A fantastic season for them right there. They've got such an amazing team and they can now rebuild again and start with some more players next season. The way Chelsea are now, I've got this game to end as an easy Newcastle win. That is right, guys. I've got Newcastle to beat Chelsea. An easy... Oh, an easy 2-0. Our next game guys, it's Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest, that is right. Palace guys, they have done well the last 6-7 games under Roy Hudson and Roy Hudson apparently is in talks to sign a one year extension for next season and uh, fair play to him man. If Roy Hudson stays, he knows Crystal Palace the best out of anyone. And by the way, congratulations to Eze who has been called up to the England squad. And uh, you know what, he truly, truly deserves it, man. Eze is one for the future. He's such a good player. So, Palace guys want to do everything they can next season to keep hold of their one of their star players. So, that is right, guys. Not good for us, guys. Not good for us. I thought they were relegated, but they've somehow survived. They beat Arsenal last week to put them safe for next season. And, uh, yeah, man, I thought I thought Forrest were out, guys. I thought Forrest were relegated, but they've come back. And they are safe for next season. I said to you, all these players that were signed, it could come back to bite them. But the last four or five games, guys, they have really, really shown the commitment, the desire, the determination and the ability to win. So fair play to fighters right there and they can start again next season. So guys, just on that note, I've got this game to end as a one-all draw. So then guys, here we go. These next three games are the most important games this season. Week okay, it's Everton, Leeds, and Leicester all on the brick of relegation. There's only two spaces left for relegation, and there's three teams fighting it out for safety, guys. That is right. Oh man, I'm so nervous, guys. Our first game is Everton versus Bournemouth. That is right, guys. Everton are on 33 points, okay, on a minus 24 goal difference, okay. Guys, listen to this Everton need to win this game, okay. To have any chance of survival, but that only matters if the other teams fail, Leicester and Leeds fail within their game. So if Everton win, guys, they are all but through. Whatever happens, if Leicester win and Leeds win, if Everton win, they are through and safe for next season, guys. Okay, so that is mad. But Bournemouth, guys, a lot of people are writing off this game for an Everton win, but listen, listen carefully, guys. Bournemouth will want to fight for this game because from 15th to 13th, there's a 2 million prize draw difference. Okay, that, that's right, guys. Both are in 15th right now. And if they finish in 13th place, they have a 2 million extra to spend. Okay, so that is right, guys. So, Bournemouth, with guys, good boy with us, such a small club, and not, not that much money, that would be very crucial to them. So, Bournemouth, with guys, will want to win this game no matter what. So, um, before, before I predict what happens to these, I tell you the only way. These teams can survive. So I'll start with Everton, okay? So Everton, guys, I say, need to win and hope Leicester leads lose, okay? If Everton draw, guys, and Leicester win and Leeds win, Everton will get relegated because Leicester have a better goal difference, okay? If Leicester and Everton lose and Leeds win, they will stay up, guys. So that is how tight it is. That is how tight these next... These... These three teams are, guys. But anyway, anyway, I'm going to go through this first game prediction, guys. That is right. I've got, because, because, I've, <laughs> because I want Everton to lose, guys, I've got this game to end as a Bournemouth win. And by the way, look, look at this, by the way. Let me show you something. Let me show you something on my phone right now. I have set my Twitter profile picture as this, guys. There we go. Look at that. My profile picture is the Bournemouth badge, guys. That is right. That is how that is how desperate I am for Bournemouth to win this game. That is right, guys. Anyway, I've got Bournemouth, guys, to beat Everton an easy 2-0. Come on, Cherries. Come on, Cherries. You can do it. You can do it. It's Leeds. Versus Spurs, that is right guys. Leeds guys need to win this game for sure and hope Everton and Leicester 
lose their game to stay up. So, guys, it has all come down to this final, final game to these three teams. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, guys, they have Spurs. And obviously, Spurs have not been great this season, but Spurs will want to fight for this game because... They know they need to win to get a uh, Europa Conference League spot. That is right, guys. They need to get in top eight to get Conference League football next season. So Spurs want to win this game to make sure they've got some money and some competition going into next season. So that is right, guys. So that is why I've got this game, guys. Unfortunately, I can't see Spurs winning or Leeds winning. That's why I've got this game to end as a one-all draw, which will put Leeds on the brick of relegation. Yeah, come on! I don't care what happens to Everton or Leeds. I just want my boys Leicester to survive. Anyway, guys, our next game is Leicester versus West Ham. This is the one, the most important one of them all, guys. Your boys are left big, big, big Leicester fan, okay? Your boys support Leicester. And oh boy, Leicester drew at the weekend to Newcastle. No, no, at the weekend. So that's a fantastic draw for Le Leicester right there, which means that, that one point helps them out drastically, guys, okay? So, oh man. Last game of the season, it is so... <sighs> I will be filming my all-day reaction to that Leicester versus West Ham game. So stay, so stay around till Monday, guys. And you'll see my reaction to relegation or safe death in my next vlog, okay? So that's going to be such a crucial game, okay? And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you think is going to get relegated? Leicester, Leeds or Everton? And uh, man, it's going to be an absolute roller coaster. Tears, emotion. And um, angriness. That's all I can say. But anyway, guys, because because obviously I want Leicester to win, I've got this game, guys, to go down as a Leicester win. That is right, guys. Leicester need to win this game, and I hope Everton and Leeds lose or Everton draw to have a chance of staying up. So that is why, guys, I've got Leicester to beat West Ham two one, which keeps Leicester in the Premier League for one more season. Come on, boys, let's flipping do this. We are down, guys, to the last two games of this final game week, guys. It is Man United versus Fulham, guys. That's right. Man United beat Chelsea 4-1 yesterday, which, which cements their space in a top four finish, which means Champions League football returns to Manchester for the first time in so many years. So, yeah. They're against Fulham, guys, who have finished again mid-table and uh, they can start to push on for next season with some new signings, um, you know, and uh, try and beat a top 10 finish, I guess. So, um, but unfortunately, guys, Man United are looking quite good again. They have, so they've got confidence right now. But, um, Champions League football, top four finish, and they're in the final next week in the FA Cup against Man City. So, United will be quite full of confidence in this game. That is why I've got this game, guys, to end as an easy 1 0 win for Man United. So, hey guys, our last game of this week it is Southampton versus. Liverpool, that is right guys, Southampton already relegated in 20th place, so can't really say much about them. They, they've only really got one point in the last 27 points available. Quite poor that was, right? And um, Liverpool guys got a top five finish, which means in Europa League football, they've just missed out on the Champions League spot because Newcastle and Man United got points last week. So unfortunately guys, Liverpool have got a top five finish in Europa League football, but overall, you know what? Start the season, they look quite poor. They look like they're going to finish mid-table. But now they've come back in fifth place and uh, got, got, got a competition in the Europa League. So not too bad overall, guys. So, just that alone, guys, I've got this game to end an easy win for Southampton. That's why I've got this game, guys. to beat Southampton and easy 3-0. So then, guys, there we have it. We have finished 38 weeks, all predicted this season guys. So guys, if you enjoyed this series on this channel, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not there, and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you want more for next season. That is right guys. Um, yeah, can't believe it guys. We're down to the last game of the season and uh, it's come down to this. Leicester's, Le Leicester's history is in the books this weekend if they can stay up in the Premier League. That is right guys. Anyway, thank you for watching this series on this channel and, I and I'm sure we'll be back for next season doing it all over again. Stay tuned for Monday for that fantastic video coming up. It's going to be such a nerve-wracking day. But anyway, guys, good, good, and good night. Ciao. Oh, by the way, come on, Leicester. Come on, the Foxes. We can do it.